the question says what is the value of sigma un if n ranges from 1 to capital n and the determinant given to us is un is equal to n15 n square 2n plus 1 2n plus 1 n cube 3n square and 3n so what will be the value of this determinant so let us find this out so we know that n will range from 1 to n so this sigma denotes addition of all the determinants where the determinant um, in the determinant the value of n will vary from 1 to n all right so we need to find the addition of all those determinants so if we take the value of n as 1 then this will be 1 square which is also 1 1 cube 1 1 2n plus 1 5 here 2n plus 1 3n square 3n plus when n is 2 it will be 2 2 square 2 cube 1 2n plus 1 3n square 5 2n plus 1 3n square 3n alright and finally n will be in between there will be other uh, values of n and then finally the n will be capital N capital N square capital N cube 1 2n plus 1 3n square 5 2n plus 1 3n this will be the determinant so we have to find the sum of all these determinants so let us find that so here you can see um, the first element of the first row is the sum of the first n natural numbers so for this we need to remember that the sum of first n natural numbers is n into n plus 1 by 2. This is the formula for that. Similarly, the first element of the second row is n square, which is the sum of 1 square, 2 square, dot, 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 till n square. This is the sum of the first uh, first natural um, the sum of the first um, natural n square numbers right square numbers that will be the formula is n into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 by 6 and the sum of the first natural the sum of the uh, first natural numbers cube cubes the sum of their cubes will be the formula is n square into n plus 1 square by 4 all right so let us use these formulas in the determinants so let us make the determinant using these formulas that will be n into n plus 1 by 2 1, 5, here there will be n into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 6, 2n plus 1, 2n plus 1, here there will be n square into n plus 1 square by 4, 3n square and 3n this is the determinant so first we can take n common from this row so that will give you n taken common from the first column sorry so we can take n common from the first column that will give us n plus 1 by 2 here there will be remaining n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 And by 6 and here there will be remaining n into n plus 1 whole square by 4.
and then we have 1 2n plus 1 3n square 5 2n plus 1 3n in the next step we can take 2 common so n by 2 right we can take 2 common from here so if we take 2 common then we will get n plus 1 here there will be n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 by 3 and here there will be n into n plus 1 whole square by 2 alright and similarly here there will be 1 2n plus 1 2n plus 1 5 and 3n square 3n in the next step we can also take 2n plus 1 common from this row which is the second row that will be equal to n by 2 into 2n plus 1 which will give you n plus 1 n plus 1 by 3 and n into n plus 1 whole square by 2 here there will be 1 1 3 n square 1 3 n and 5 in the next step let us take n plus 1 common from the first column okay. that will give you n by 2 into n plus 1 into 2 n plus 1 is equal to 1 1 by 3 n into n plus 1 by 2 then we have here 1 1 3 n square and 5 1 and 3 n all right so now to make uh, the determinant a little more easier for calculation we can also apply one operation which is row 1 is row 1 minus row 2. So the operation is row 1 is row 1 minus row 2 which will be 1 minus 1 by 3 will give you 2 by 3 1 minus 1 0 5 minus 1 4 and here there will be 1 by 3 n into n plus 1 by 2 1 1 3n square and 3n so now let us do the expansion of the determinant for the first row so outside the bracket we have n by 2 into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 and now when we expand the determinant we will get 2 by 3 2 by 3 into block the elements of that particular row and column so you will get 3n minus 3n square 2 by 3 into 3n minus 3n square minus 0 plus 4 into block the elements of that row and column so you will get 1 by 3 into 3n square minus n into n plus 1 by 2 so now let us solve this whatever we have got so when we simplify we will get n by 2 into n plus 1 2n plus 1 into here the 3 will get cancelled so this will give you 2n minus 2n square minus 0 here 3 and 3 will get cancelled so plus 4n square minus 4n into n plus 1 
by 2. So 4 by 2 is 2. Alright. So again let us simplify this. Which is n by 2 into n plus 1 into 2n plus 1 into 4n square minus 2n square is plus 2n square. And we have plus 2n. And here there is minus 2n square minus 2n when we expand this. So plus 2n minus 2n will get cancelled plus 2n square minus 2n square. So this term becomes 0. And hence this will this multiplication will also become fully it will become 0. So your answer is 0.